kings. He really thinks he's all that. He thinks that's a real dog. Yeah. That that's why I have it there. Okay. All right. All right, come here. Come over there. All right, go ahead and walk. And then I'm gonna read yeah. what they brought me, what you brought me so I can, uh, Right keep going. Huh? Uh -huh. All right, Come make, make, on. turn right, oh, oh no, go down to this X and make him sit. Come on. All right, take him down to this X and make him sit. And now his mouth is open. All right, that Here. tells me one thing. Is he down for you? Yeah. Okay. But there's absolutely no submission in him at all. He just thinks he is running the show. What you want to show is that he's not loyal and he's not dangerous to somebody that he doesn't know. So it has to be that he was territorial so they, they didn't manage, manage him right in the house. So, definitely go methods with a dog like this because then you get forced back. Okay, now sit, sit down. His mouth is cold. He's really anxious. He wants to do something. He really, he needs a purpose in life. He doesn't have one. Being a pet, going to doggy daycare, when his brain is telling him he wants to work, is not, doesn't help him at all. He really would like his mouth open. They used to correct in them hard. And I just, yeah. yeah. You just want to work, don't you? You want to do something in life. Yeah, you want to do something in life. All right, let's go. Walk a nice slow pace, not too fast. Here, not too fast. Come on, this way. Good boy. Good job. Good. Good boy. Doesn't matter which side, just get him nice and obedient. Keep walking, don't stop. On, Talk to him right. right down the middle. Good job. Come on, come on. Come on. And oh? No. Good. Back to you. Good. Oh. And make him sit. Come on. Sit. How about D O W N? Down. Now, they used a lot of treats with him, so be careful. Because as soon as you put your hands in your pocket, he thought a treat. He's looking for treats. Yeah. yeah, this dog is way past the treat. Maybe up until six months he was great, but after that, uh-uh. Especially with him being a little bit of a bully, right? We didn't video him using his body language trying to pull you around. But, but you get it. You knew what you had to do. Look how meek he is. Look how submissive he is now. He doesn't think he owns the world now. And we didn't use our hands or a shock collar. Just nice and submissive and meek. He wasn't even have any stress on his body. He had no, st well, one, one part in his back. That was it. All right, walk one more time. Here, you. Come on, let's go. Right, he's Come listening on. to you. Good. Good job. See how the, 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 your pace controlled him better than that? When you first started, you walked a little fast. Come on, this way. No, over here. You walked fast and it got him too excited. And he's not bullying you anymore, is he? No, he's not. <laughs> and you had a habit right there. Make him sit. Sit. You had a habit of when he leaned into you, you need him. And he's like, oh, this is good. And then he got in front of you. And then you stopped. And then he moved you. And then yeah. all that stuff, it's all bulliness. Don't, don't play the game with him. He loves it. That's why you can't use any hands-on with a dog like this. You can't. Look at this. He's right next to me. And you got control. But it's not 100% because his mouth is closed. I want his mouth open. Then I know it's 100%. But we've only been training for an hour and 15 minutes. And in an hour and 15 minutes, we've probably only been training a half hour. So you got room for improvement. He doesn't have direct eye contact if he becomes tunnel vision. So we know, we know he's not dangerous. He's ready to fall asleep right now. You can see it, right? All right, let's walk some more. I'm gonna walk the light out over here. You walk some more. Right here. Right here. Good boy. Come on. 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 Good boy.
feel better now? Because you had a concern, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> there. He's got it now. Oh, good job. Beautiful. Good. Good. It took him a minute. Come on. Right there. Make him Come sit. On. Come on. Right here. Come on. Get it. Get it. Look how he's trying to avoid this puppy. This dog's only 10 months old. But he's trying to avoid him because of stress. He doesn't know if this dog's going to invade his personal space. But now that, now that he knows that he can trust this dog, he's much better with you too. Look at this. This is great. All right, let me put my dog away and we're gonna do something else. Third lack of not managing him in the house. He's not protective. He's not loyal. You don't want a loyal government. That means he only loves you and he'll bite anybody else. He allowed you to walk him, and now he's completely off lead and under control. That's what you want, even with another dog out. Now, does that make him want to play with other dogs? No, he may not want to play with other dogs. My dog doesn't want to play with other dogs. Same age as he is. They get to a certain age, they just want their personal space. Right. And they feel good about themselves. I'm, I'm running the show now. Dogs leave me alone. Now, we get that way as we get older. You know, but yet we want to keep throwing these dogs in doggy daycare all the time to be able to play with our dogs. That doesn't complete their instinct. He needs something to do mentally that complements his instinct. 